Okay, you ready? Here it is. Boom. Oh yeah, I feel it. It's not, it's not bad, it's just you feel a little tingly. In the new arcade! I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey, what is going on in Shenaniganderland today? Well, let me tell you, it is a pretty epic day. Kevin is finished with the arcade for the most part. Like, it is drywalled, mud, taped, painted, trimmed, electrical, plumbing, boiler. It is ready to go. So, he's got a bit of a head start. He's started to populate the arcade with a few machines. But, we are going over there today to grab all the machines out of his basement and start bringing the arcade to life. So that is what's happening. I am going to head over and pick up Ray. I'm gonna grab my Escalera and Shawnee Boy was gonna to come too, but he is fallen ill, so sadly he is not gonna be able to make it. Dutch will be off school soon and we are going to start hauling in machines and bringing the arcade to life. So, I will report back shortly. The action is about to begin. We're here. All right, let's go. I've got Ray, I've got the Escalera. And, uh, it was a bit of a blizzard earlier. It's kind of lightened up a bit. I think Kevin and Dutch are around here somewhere. I believe the action has begun. I see a ramp to the doors, so and I think I hear voices. Knock knock. Hello? Oh, they're here. Okay, just in time to uh, film the action. World Cup soccer. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, well, today it happens to be the day that my back is a little bit extra cranky with normal than normal. So, perfect timing. Two months since what? It's like the coldest day. Oh yeah, I know, right? The the weather is uh, also not cooperating. But you guys make it look easy. Look at that. Oh shit! After like the the tenth machine. It's going to uh, get a little more challenging. Oh, these are the easy ones. You still have next generation down there. Oh, all the WPC wide bodies. You saved them for Ray and I. But I really think the Escalera is going to be very handy. Yeah, we can get over that hump, no problem. Okay, well, let's uh, see what's going on. Holy poop. Okay, I'm going to just kind of walk around this way. I didn't look left quite yet. Okay, this color looks good. Oh, two-tone. Oh no, that's the primed wall. Okay, I see what's going on here. Ah, yeah, I like this blue. I like this blue. It's much better than the, uh, than the, the jail concrete look that was there before. Okay, you ready? Here it is. Boom. We've got eight machines in here already. World Cup Soccer, Dr. Dude. Gilligan's, the party zone, the party pooper, future spa, space odyssey, world cup, mad world, but this is awesome. You can get an idea of the layout, the shelving, the lighting. You got your uh, chains secured for the extra weight or whatever you end up putting on the shelves. Yeah. yeah. Don't need stuff on shelves crashing onto pinball machines, so that's a smart idea. All right, so here it is Arcade Population Day. I will uh, keep you posted every couple machines. Every hour of progress, we'll walk you through what's happening. How many more machines you got down there? About seven. Seven? Okay. We still have the whole back wall and a couple others, so about, like, well, including arcades are close inside. Oh, yeah, arcades. Are they coming up here, too? The Escalera will do that as well, so. And then, uh, 
Are we going to head over to storage and grab a few more from there too? I guess once we get it sort of set up, we'll see how much room we just, have left. Yep, um, just go as we go and um, yeah, okay, well, time to bust out uh, some muscles and some escaleras and get to work. Check out the colored lighting too. So it just changes every like three seconds kind of thing. Blue. Oh yeah, you did say the red's kind of dark, eh? That's, it does drop off a bit, but. I like the ambiance, it's fun. I want to play a fun game. How many receptacles do you think are in the arcade? Let's go. I'll give you a quick brief tour and then you have to count from here. All right. It's better to have more receptacles and not need them than want them and not have them. Okay, that's them. And then, don't forget, the ceiling. Oh, I can't do that. That's going to turn the whole video upside down. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, right, there's more, but wait, under the machines there. Ray's trying to guess. He wants to win the game. <laughs> oh, it's probably like, eh, I guess 50. Okay, we're going to try and use this Escalera, kind of for the first time with a full machine, but... This is the basement arcade, and now it's going to be, is this going to be like your room? Is that what the plan is? I guess so. Oh, very good. Okay, well, yeah, we got to get all this crap out of so your room. Is it so, technically all right, well, or here goes nothing. Okay. If, uh, if I break this uh, strange science, then uh, Kevin can just build another cabinet. He already built weird. one. He can easily build a second one, right? Oh, no all right, Dutch, why don't you uh, have the honors here? And well, I'm not humping this thing. <laughs> no, it's really a no, it. one person operation. Um, I guess. You so. lift it up. Okay. Right, normally whenever we're we'll whenever we're moving games, I'm I was in the bottom. So if it falls on the stairs, only... it's gonna fall on me. Okay, maybe we do need to. Okay, give me a hand with this. <laughs> oh, one person operation. I don't know. One person. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm slightly terrified, but. Are you going to be able to... All right, no, good. Good. I can get... No, not that door. Not hey, that let's door. go into the oh. closet. <laughs> can I bring strange science into the closet? Turn me around or you don't know where I'm going. <laughs> All right. Let's try this door. This door looks better to get outside. It does. It's a lot. The future's looking brighter already. <laughs> I think that's the sun. Could be wrong. Okay. Hmm. There goes nothing. We can go over, go over little baby steps. So it's just basically the transition when you put the wheels down. That. Uh... <laughs> The wonders of technology! Gracious! <laughs> Alright, there it is, strange science. I'm scared. Twilight Zone is next. Yikes! Twilight Zone made it in one piece. You know, still working up a sweat and using our muscles, but the Escalera is definitely helpful. Star Trek Next Generation, one of the heaviest machines in pinball history, ever since Jersey Jack decided to start making pinball machines anyways, has successfully made it. Party Zone is starting to get some legs. And uh, next W. PC wide body on the hit list is Popeye. Starting to huff and puff. 
Definitely still using uh, some muscles, but Popeye has made it up. No more WPC wide bodies, right? Sweet. And more stuff is getting legs. Okay, Adam's family has made its way in. And uh, it's time to take a little bit of a break and do some lighter duty work. Some um, leg installation, so that's what's happening. All right, so most of the stuff is on legs. Starting to uh, formulate here, check it out. Uh-oh, we've got balls. Dropping, balls dropping. So, this is the idea. Adam's Family, Twilight Zone, Star Trek, Popeye, and then whatever uh, shuffling going on from there. These projects are not permanent fixtures, so they're kind of by the door. Yeah. So, making some progress. Okay, so good and bad news. We have to break to your dad right now. Okay. All right, so uh, just so you know, we thought we would just plug in Twilight Zone, just because why not? And uh, we saw some sparks, and uh, it uh, made little crackles, and yeah, so we unplugged it quickly. Well, we didn't even get it plugged in all the way, so. What crackles? The, you know, we went. The other yeah, little sparks and little crackle, little, little snap, crackle, pop. So we're not going to plug in anything else at the moment. If there is a fuse, it might have been tripped. A breaker. A breaker, that's right. But uh, on a good note, we are wheeling Adam's family into position. Dutch, shall you do the honors? I don't know, Mike. <laughs> Let's, we'll just, we'll just uh, cram them right in there. Dutch will be never to be found again. Okay. Hey, can't even see you that he's there. Hey, all right. Adams is in place. Let's, let's unroll this. Thing. Almost, all right. It could be the plug. We just, Kevin just tested it. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Hey, it didn't blow I, up. I saw that too. But, but and it has power and every, there was there was sparks. Dutch like, and I it, saw it. It, a, it, it a, made us. <laughs> there was a big red light there. It was, I saw flashes in my eyes. I saw that too. Yeah. All right, well, Kevin managed to plug it in uh, and it seems to be happy and fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the progress so far. I'll zoom out, it's a better view. Okay, so this wall, for now, we haven't quite got to strange science. This wall is very populated. And... It does have a ground plug? Oh, okay. Do you want to demonstrate what happens when you touch Popeye and uh, Star Trek together? Oh, you, Mr. Shannon, <laughs> our house. Let's see if I get a little... This is powder coated even. Dutch got a little zinger. I don't have enough... Uh... Okay, here I'll we go. Hold it, I'll hold it. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. I, I had oh, an come excuse. On. Come on. Okay, here we go. It's powder coating and... Lock bar. We need, uh... we need some more metal. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I feel it. It's not, it's not bad, it's just you feel a little tingly. No, it, it was a lot worse when it was on um, fishtails where I was hitting two things like that were both grounded. Yeah. One machine that was very grounded, one that wasn't. Blew out your wrists for 25 time. minutes, you said. So, uh, yeah. Well, no, it didn't blow, I lost feeling in the wrists. Yeah. Like hands, arms, no wrists. Well, next, I guess, I don't know. The theory is that we're going to bring in uh, some of the arcades next. So that means that one of the, because it's not even but on, at any moment, on. pizza is going to come through that door. That's so the next thing. The okay, there it is. For now, no more machines in the aisle. Gotta. We don't. We don't know exactly how Kevin wants these lined up, but. Most likely in front of They're all on wheels, mostly on wheels, so they can be easily shuffled to their position. And then um, I guess London Pinball is going to be joining us soon, Corey Cook. And we're going to tell him what all the problems are 
and give them all the crappiest things to fix. Ray and I are going to kind of work on the easier stuff. That's our plan of attack anyway. We'll see how that works out, but there are going to be a few tweaks happening. But uh, I guess we got to bring up some more stuff too. And in theory, there's a few more machines in storage that we are potentially bringing over here, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Race like looking the other way. <laughs> <laughs> and Dutch is looking for pizza. Pizza has arrived. Ripley's has made its way out of the basement. Believe it or not, Ray's trying to hide from more work. <laughs> All right, this is technically the first game played really in the uh, arcade. Only because we were trying to fix an issue with it and uh, well, it's working so we fixed it. There was a uh, fuse blown and maybe a ribbon cable that was uh, not in all the way. So, there it is. First game in the books in the arcade. These guys are representing. Oh yeah. London Pinball has showed up. Mr. Corey Cook. And this is, uh, this is their idea of play testing. I mean, testing um, World Cup soccer. Actually, we reported last time that it was working. Uh, we lied, that fuse blew. So this is these guys, uh, this is why we pay these guys the big bucks. And uh, let's see if this fuse blows right now. No, not yet, not yet. All right, let's see if these guys are any good actually. Can you score a goal? For 15 million points. No, but I can lose the ball. Oh, shit. You got 2 million for a bonus. Holy hallelujah. The uh, knockers are extra loud in this room. <laughs> Mason got a match. Oh, it happened. Fuse is blown. It's also. Yeah, because like the 12, all the optos are gone so all the optos are going crazy and uh, the bad news is is that was Kevin's very last fuse boo <laughs> this is yeah this is the, the spinning rocket mod if you hit it with a ball it spins around in circles uh, I think that was uh, right there yeah uh, yeah we'll just uh, the cameras even zip crazy glue that back on no problem well, you broke it, so now you must buy it. <laughs> it's only about 15 grand. All right, quick little update. All the back glasses are in. Ripley's in the lineup. We're trying to fix some issues. We're starting to go down the line from Adam's family and adjust and level everything. And. These boys are duking it out on World Cup. What do you got on the line here? He has Playing for a beer? He has home field advantage. I don't play I don't play 70s games. Oh, I see. But you own the game, so I've never you played have it as a fully working game before. Oh, okay. Well, I got my money on I think you guys will tie and then go to a shootout. That's my prediction. Check it out. Every machine is on. Games are being played, games are being fixed, the arcade is coming to life. Uh, these guys never did end up in a tie, so looks like Dutch won. I mean, no, nope, looks like Mason won. All right, it's time to, uh, for the first time, try out the arcade lighting in the new arcade. Let there be arcade light. Cool. We got options. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Why don't you get in there for a photo? Actually, I can take a photo during a video. All right. Oh, snap. Boom. I'll probably take another one, but. We shared. Now it's uh, now it's Kevin's turn. I got an extra ball for one for each of you, so. We're gonna take all three of us to beat your Merc. Yeah, we're gonna Merc your ass. You're going down. 
Cheers. <laughs> Ray's drinking the beers. Hey, where's my beer? It vanished. Oh, here we go. Well, in the party zone, one must have beer. There we go. Cheers. No, I don't have my beer. I'm just cheersing you. <laughs> oh, no. It'll vanish if you hold on to it. I wasn't going to drink it. We pulled it off. Mike, Ray, Kevin. We beat Dutch. Okay, I lied. We were only high score number four. But we got a free game. All right, so, you know, first night in the arcade. You got to go for a little tour. So, uh... Not here that often when the mansion. Yeah. Just get like uh, three extra balls, make these guys wait all night. <laughs> Thing clip. Uh, he missed. Alright, so. Oh, I gotta do like. Hit pressing it. Okay, I gotta go through all the buttons. Here we go. Oh, uh, it's over. That was a quick little tour, but it was a fun one. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's an expensive garage. Well, you know, it's an expensive arcade, but uh, we had fun. It was a good first day. A long first day. Long first day. Back is a little cranky, but we're time to head out. Yeah.